Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and today I am so excited to um, be showing you my part one of a three-part series that I'm going to be doing on crafts and DIY projects that you can make using vintage sheet music. Um, September is my stretch month, and I have been doing some projects that, um, the things that I had never done before but had thought about, and sheet music has definitely been on my list for a long time, but I had, frankly, I had no idea where to get it or what really I could even do with it. So today I'm, I'm really, really excited to get started and I have about a zillion other ideas that will be coming up over the next couple of days. So if you're watching this and you have friends that love crafts and DIY, please um, feel free to share this to your page. That helps me and it helps you. So, okay, let me just jump right in. The first thing I'm gonna show, well, first I'll tell you where do you get sheet music? Hey, Mitzi. Um, we have a piano that nobody plays. That was my grandmother's in our house. So we didn't have any sheet music on hand. Um, and I didn't wanna go and buy anything brand new that I knew I was gonna be cutting up. So I went to my favorite Goodwill store and I looked in the book section and I was looking for music that was gonna be pretty busy. And I was especially looking to find some sheet music that looked a little aged like this. So um, it was in my Goodwill, they were next to the cookbooks. Hey Amber. And um, they were $1.97 a piece. I bought three books. I've already used one book completely and um, basically all you do is you just open your book and if it really is vintage you'll be able to just tear the sheets right out okay so that's how you get started and um, the first little trick I want to show you I've seen this in my um, one of my favorite antique shops called Queen of Hearts uh, are these little get this out of the way these little rolled up, um, they look like important papers or something, these little rolls of sheet music, okay? So, um, and then I'm going to talk to you about how I decorated these jars. Okay, so to do that is so easy, but I had to think about it, about how to um, make it easy if I was going to be doing a whole bunch. The first thing is you just start to bend your sheet. And then when you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like this motion, you'll notice that your, um, your little roll of paper will get smaller. And then what I did is I just took some rubber bands and put one on each roll. And then I had my 15 or 20 of them rolled up. Then uh, you can choose on one set of these, I'm gonna show you in a minute, I use some silver little really skinny ribbon and on the other ones I use this um, twine or jute or whatever. So then I just wrapped my jute around three times, but you can do whatever you like. I tied a quick little knot, scooted it down and rolled off my rubber band and voila, it makes it so super easy. And then I just threw them in these glass containers. Um, I did do this set right here a little different um, in that I put the silver on it, the little um, tie, and then I dipped the ends of these shorter ones. I cut them in the sheet music in half. I dipped it in glue and then I dipped it in my new obsession, this amazing silver glitter, which um, my house is covered in glitter. If you look at my face, my hair, I can't get it off now at this point. I think I'm just doomed to live the rest of my life with glitter everywhere. I can even see it on my nose. But um, anyway, so that's how I created this. And then I just put it, put it in this little jar with a little snow in the bottom. And you could tie something right here if you wanted. It's completely up to you. Okay, so then the next thing I want to show you is how I made this. Um, this is attached to this tall glass container just using some double-sided tape. Okay, so I cut up a piece of um, the sheet music to the size I wanted. 
Then I used my favorite stencil set, which is the birds. Let me show you what these look like. You guys, these are awesome. Um, and they're back in stock. So if you've been wanting or seeing some of these bird crafts that I've been doing and been thinking that you might want some, you should get them now. Okay, I'll just pull these all out so I can show you. All right, <clears throat> my favorite of all of them is this one. And I have it on both this and this, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but then I also love these sweet little birds that have like a little wreath around them of flowers. This one's really cute. And so is this one. And you can see my stencils are starting to look kind of cruddy and that's because I've used them a ton. These bird things, I've made gift bags, cards, um, I made a pillow. Uh, oh gosh, I've made all kinds of different things with these. So they're definitely good. And then this one reminds me of a cardinal. And then there's a little nest, which I've used that a lot. And there's also these little eggs. So what I did to um, make this next piece here is I just cut my sheet music out. I laid down the stencil that I was gonna be using and I used the black uh, Maker Studio gel art ink on it. And it just comes out so nice and crisp on sheet music. And then the part that um, really adds a lot is I took a paintbrush and I put some Elmer's glue. This is just washable clear glue from Elmer's. You can use whatever you have. And I ran a line of the glue along the edges and then I sprinkled my silver glitter, shook it off, and taped it on there. It was so easy. Then this one right here, this one I had a, I don't know where it is. I had, oh here it is. Let me grab it. I have these awesome chipboard tags. So I just laid it down on top of the sheet music, traced it, and um, then I stenciled it with that same sweet little bird and did the same thing with uh, the glitter around the edges. And then here's another example, which I could have tied this one to um, either one of these faces. It's, a shape would work well too. So obviously I am glitter, very glitter um, obsessed. <laughs> and if you didn't catch one of my other September stretch crafts, it was making these cute little um, Christmas ornaments for your tree. I used a drop cloth, that same black gel art ink, and some stencils also from a maker studio. This is Mr. and Mrs. set. It's part of an engagement set. This one says gather and this one says grateful. And these ones are you are made out of just some plain old canvas fabric. Um, anyway, so if you haven't seen that video, this was the first time I ever worked with glitter. So check that out. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Don. So that's pretty much all I have to tell you about today. But tomorrow, I have some great things. And so here's a little hint if you look over my shoulder. I have some awesome banners to show you. Um, seasonal and for every day. So I can't wait to do that. As always, if you have any questions or if I can help you with any of your projects that you're working on, just let me know. Feel free to share this video to your social media, to your friends that are crafters or DIYers. Um, and I will be back in a day or two with more ideas of what you can do with sheet music. So thanks for watching. I'll be DIY dreaming up lots more ideas to show you very soon. Bye.